All right, here I'm going to teach you how you can do in order to fix this problem. So if you're having this problem, you can't download the additional components needed to install Mac OS X. I was reading many forums and, and other comments on YouTube and everything. So I was trying to solve this issue. So I took some pictures so that way it will help you because uh, when I tried to install some updates before, uh, I was getting this error. So I said, okay, I'm going to delete and restall everything again. So by doing that, I got the, the error that I I'm showing you right now. So I'm go I was getting this error and I'm going to tell you how to install it and avoid that error and be successful. So I was able to install the high Sierra. So here, as you can see, I have a old MacBook Pro 2011. Surely that is the, the case. So if you want to install the Lion. In this case, uh, what you have to do, and uh, usually, surely this is what you are doing. You were pressing Command and then R, and then you were getting that error. So in order to fix that uh, uh, problem and getting high Sierra, this is what you have to do. You reboot the computer, and when it's rebooting, you you do the same, but you in this case, you press Command, Option, or Alt, as you can see. You push uh, those two buttons at the same time, and then R. So basically, you do the same thing that you were doing before. You go to Restart. When the computer re is restarting, just Option, Command, R, and that's it. And then you, instead of seeing a lion, you will see High Sierra. So by doing that, that is the way you can do it. And it works just fine. I did that. I was having the same error that I'm showing, I was showing you. First, I saw another uh, comment in another YouTube video. People saying, okay, if you change the date and you put uh, 2013 instead of, you know, the actual date, at least this is when I'm doing this uh, video, that was a, pro a, a quick fix. Some people were saying uh, that didn't work and other people were saying that it, it did work. I don't know. The thing is, why installing an old operating system when you can install the latest one, at least for this uh, computer. So that is the, the trick. And I'm going to show you if you have Windows 10 for another reason. So this is the website, uh, wikigain.com. So if you go uh, here, or, or this is the other option, I'll, I'll try to leave it in the video description, or you can Google it, how to create a Mac OS High Sierra bootable USB installer or Windows 10. So this will be another option. I found this. It works. At least um, you're going to there. Uh, this in this link it was going to tell you. Okay, you have to download the the image. So in this case, you click here, and it will take you to a drive, a Google, a Google Drive, and then you have to download a Transmac, and then it will tell you step by step how you can do that. So you have to format this, uh, this uh, for Mac, and then uh, I think you have to restore it later. I didn't do this. I mean, if you want to try, I think the, the way I gave you is, I think is the best one, but if you have a computer, Windows computer, I mean, you don't have internet on the Mac or anything like this. I think this will be another option. So hopefully this video was useful. Uh, if you want me to fix the computer for you, just send it to me. All my information is in the video description. Otherwise, follow my instruction and hopefully this uh, will be successful for you. Have a wonderful day and see you in the next class.